Hey guys, it's Alice. So today's Freelance Friday video is going to be me showing you how I did this logo, which is a logo for the Reading University Singer and Songwriter Songwriters Society. And this was probably the most easiest client I've ever had. Um, they were so happy with the design. Um, I initially designed it with like a blue colour and then they decided to go for like the red university colours, so like red and yellow. Um, and I literally designed and sent this off and they improved it straight away, which is very rare in the design world or so I have found so far. Um, so yeah, I recorded the whole process as usual. I'm going to sit and talk through it with you guys and hopefully you'll get to learn some things as we go. Um, again, I'm not an expert. We're just going to chat through it, see how it goes and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please do give it a thumbs up, show me your support um, and also make sure you've checked out my merch on my website. I actually have notepads, weekly planners and also pens on sale on my merch site which is always linked in my description so be sure to go and check those out, help support me and yeah hopefully you enjoy this video. I'll see you in a second. I mean, not really see you. You'll hear me in a second. Anyway, <laughs> I'm talking nonsense. So this is the final logo that I came up with for the society and they wanted it to be quite fun but still incorporate singing and songwriting but then represent their university as well. So yeah, I kind of got straight to it with a few draft designs. So basically using my iPad Pro and Procreate, which is an amazing free app that you can download on Apple devices. I just sat and doodled things. I like doodling on these because it means I can rub them out. I'm not wasting paper, you know, and I came up with this kind of shield emblem design, which I sent over to the client and she really, really liked. So once I got approval for that, um, I took it into Illustrator. The only changes she asked for, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, were the colour changes, but other than that, she kind of liked where I was going with it. Um, so what I'm doing now is grabbing the pen tool, which is a very hard tool to get the hang of. I remember first learning this at university and I hated it. Um, but after a bit of practice, you get used to how to click and drag um, and then you click back and it just creates straight lines. At the minute, I'm holding shift to keep it straight and then I'm just joining it back up clicking and dragging until the curve is at the shape I like and to make sure the shield was symmetrical I duplicated it using the alt button and then I just transformed and reflected it so it just basically made a mirror image of the shape I created. I then aligned them using the align tool down the right hand side and then using the merge tool I believe it's called You'll see me click on it there we go look shape mask shape merge something i clicked that button and it made it one big shape so now here i've got the university logo up so i can pick up the colors basically and make sure mine is exactly the same colors um and all i'm doing now is just adding some rulers to make sure that i do the design evenly on both sides um i think this is quite a good practice to get into even if you don't think you're going to use the rulers very often just to drag them out and see and it just helps make it all symmetrical Next, I'm just going to divide it up. So again, I held the shift key to make sure it kind of stayed straight and I did a vertical and a horizontal line. Then I played around with the colours. So all I did was use the eyedropper tool and to get a shortcut for this, it's eye on your keyboard, selected the red colour and then did the thick black outline, which I think looks really, really cool so far. I mean, or at least I think so. <laughs> um, now I'm doing the little scroll banner thing at the bottom. And again, I'm just going to duplicate this so it's even on both sides. So what I'm doing is just drawing some lines with the path tool, joining them together and creating like the rough shape that I'm thinking of. I definitely went about this a very weird way. I was trying to use the shape builder tool. Um, and if you know Illustrator, you'll know what that is, but it just wasn't working. So I ended up um, joining the paths together. Um, all I wanted was like a bendy rectangle. I don't know. Someone let me know if you know a better way of doing this. So yeah, I did path, joined the path and then kind of just like fluked it I don't know I did really got annoyed with this <laughs> um so yeah what I've done there is make a rectangle and I'm just going to join the paths together and then duplicate that which we'll see in a second so again I'm just transforming it and reflecting it so it's an exact mirror image I'm aligning it using the align tool and then merging them together to create one big shape so that is the kind of basic part of the banner so 
So then for the little pointy bits at the side, I'm just duplicating the banner itself, getting rid of the bits I don't need and aligning them behind it a little bit. You'll see that I'm kind of rubbing them out and only leaving the parts that I need. And then once I've done that, I'm just putting some triangle markings onto the edge. And then what I'm going to do is kind of like cut it out like a cookie cutter. Um, so using the shape builder tool, I'm just going to highlight the parts that I need and cut out both sides. So I've duplicated it on both sides, aligned them, and then I'm just going to use the shape builder tool and you can actually take away that triangle shape. So you can kind of see that I highlight it and then rub it out effectively. So now I'm going on to the actual design within the shield. I'm going to do the stripes in the bottom left hand corner. So what I'm doing is just drawing a bunch of lines um, and then I'm using the align tool again. So all I do is select the whole selection of lines and then there's this button on the right hand side which kind of spreads them out evenly against each other. Again, this has probably got a name um, but I can't remember it. Um, and then I'm just going to do path, outline stroke and rotate it a little bit so it's at an angle like it is in my sketch and here I just kind of play around with the angles I decided in the end to move the banner down a little bit because I thought it looked a bit better without having the red stuck underneath and that basically meant I needed to extend the banners on either side so here I'm just fiddling with the placement and you know you can see what I'm doing so back to the lines I'm just rubbing out the bits that I don't need and because I made them an actual object rather than just a line it means I can rub them out um, and then I'm going on to the white lines behind the treble clef is that what that musical note is called I'm so unmusical um, and then I'm just again using that spacing tool and just going down to the bottom right corner clicking the button and then they separate in the same distance apart from each other so then I'm getting the treble clef and I'm outlining this. I could have just got a copy of this online, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some free ones out there, but I decided to do it my own way. Um, so I just used the pen tool again and used the same technique as always and just outlined it. I actually went about it in a really weird way. I did it wrong the first time. So I went back again and just did it again. See, this is what it's all about. It's just practice. And I kept that in so you guys can see that I'm just kind of winging it all the time. <clears throat> So now I've got that, I just resize it and put it into position and now I'm going to do the little section that has the like abbreviation part in it. I was playing around with the idea of different colours and I think in the end I ended up just using like a orange text. So here you'll see that I'm trying white, I'm trying yellow, um, it's just all about trial and error really. Oh and now I decided that the lines on this treble clef weren't thick enough so I'm just going around and making them a little bit wider which should make the logo a bit easier to be printed onto like uniforms and stuff. So back to the right hand side I realised that I was doing different line weights for everything so I decided to retry the diagonal lines so here you'll see i've drawn more lines and done them a little bit thinner and i just wanted to see what this would look like i think in the end i did actually decide to stick with the thinner lines because i wanted the line width to be the same for the like musical notes and also those diagonal lines if that makes any sense and um, so now I'm doing a little bit of paper so this part was to represent the songwriting part so I thought a little sheet of paper and a pen so all I'm doing is just writing writing I'm drawing the lines that would be the writing on the paper and I'm just arranging those again I use that like alignment tool that separates everything evenly and just arranging it and changing the angles of it so it all fits in and then I go on to changing the colours. I kind of played around with different colours and decided to go back to black and white. I wanted to keep this logo to three colours. Um, that's something I learned at university. Um, so now I'm doing the pen. So I just rounded the ends, played around with the thickness, kind of changed it all up. And then I decided to outline it. So now instead of this just being a line, it's a shape, um, which meant that I could adjust the ends. Um, and then as I was about to drag it in, I realised it looked a bit crowded on the logo, so I flipped the piece of paper around. So here's my pen. It's got a rounded end on one end and then a little pointy end, which I'm going to adjust here on the other. 
and I just did this by dragging up the path selection points using like the A key tool thing. I'll put a pointy thing on screen so you can see what I'm talking about. So now I'm doing the little old fashioned mic. I had a reference image up on Google. So I looked at that first and then kind of got an idea from that and made my own. So I'm just doing the different lines and using the shape builder tool. So once I got the positioning right, it was kind of hard for me to get the angles. I couldn't work out whether to do it flat or a bit like asymmetrical, but I think in the end I went for something quite symmetrical. So again, I just outlined the lines using the path tool and using the shape builder tool, I just chopped out the bits I didn't want and joined it all together. So it all ended up to be one solid shape. I actually love the shape builder tool. So here we are, my little microphone, and then I'm doing like what I imagine to be stage lights or something. Um, and I just played around with the placement of it. I wanted to make sure that you could see the silhouette of the microphone kind of through the stage lights. So you'll see that I just changed the placement a few times and rearranged it until I was happy. So that's the basic element sorted. Now it's onto the font. So I just flicked through all my fonts. I wanted something quite simple and bold. I changed the tracking on it so the spaces between the letters were different. And then I wanted to introduce the yellow color from the university's logo. So I picked up the yellow color from the logo and used that for the font. Now all I'm doing is outlining a guitar shape. So this is just how I did the treble clef again. I'm just using the pen tool and dragging around and clicking around the edges. And then I duplicate it so it is symmetrical on both sides. And then again, I just aligned it and merged them together using the merge tool. And then just using different shaped elements, I'm building up the little details and changing the width and making everything join together. So again, using a path turned into an object. So path, outline stroke makes that into a solid rectangle. And then I'm using the shape builder tool to join them all together. Hopefully that makes sense. And then once I've done one, I just duplicate them all using the alt button, align them all using that align tool again, and then I transform and reflect them. So they're on the other side. It's just kind of a whole lot of repeating the same process when designing logos. So once I've done that, I'm just, just playing with the placement again, trial and error. I just kind of looked at it, took a bit of time away from it, uh, played around with it, changed the width of everything, and you can see I kind of get to the position I want. Then again, the colours, the colours were annoying me. I wanted to kind of involve the yellow more, but I just couldn't work out a way of doing it without it looking a bit weird. Um, so for the final one, I opted for black and added an extra outline around the kind of shield part, which you'll see. So here's the black. Um, then I'm just going to do the piano in exactly the same way, draw the outlines, all that thing. You know what the deal is by now. So once I'd drawn them all, I grouped them all together and just arranged it again like I did with the guitar. Then I'm just filling in these little triangle bits. So this is where like the fold of the little ribbon would be. So I decided to do this in red just to add a little pop of color. So I did that on both sides. And then this is where I added that extra border around the shield. So you'll see it kind of adds a little bit more separation between the guitar and the keyboard. Now I'm gonna do the text along the ribbon. So using the pen tool, I'm just following the curve of the ribbon itself. And then I'm using the type on path tool, which is just underneath the text tool. And you can adjust it and arrange it to fit your needs. And as you can see, it kind of follows the shape of it to give it kind of a three dimensional look. So then once I've done that, I'd pretty much done. I just changed the colors of it all and 
yeah this is what i sent to the client she liked it straight away she said their society was very happy so yeah i really like this logo hope you enjoyed this video um let me know if you have any questions if you do have any inquiries about commissions or logos please do email me and yeah i'll see you soon bye